In this video, we are going to talk about viewports and viewport navigation. Now, for starters, Logan, what is a viewport? Well, a viewport is a display and edit window for all of your in-game elements. It allows you to not only see the things in your level, but to interact with them. That's right. It's a window into your gaming world. And you can see that we have four of them, by default, available in the Unreal Ed user interface, uh, broken up into four quadrants. And if you take a look at what you see in these viewports, you're going to notice that there are two primary styles of viewport available to you. Those are perspective and orthographic. Now, when I say orthographic, I mean a two-dimensional viewport versus a perspective viewport, which is three-dimensional. And we can see that uh, in the lower left-hand quadrant, I have a 3D viewport, which looks kind of like playing the game, though a little bit different because we have little icons floating everywhere. And then everywhere else, we have these two-dimensional or orthographic viewports, which are like schematic views. They have no depth whatsoever. So what I'm going to do is talk to you about how we can navigate around these viewports, and I'm going to start in the orthographic views. There are three of them, and they allow you to see your, your level from the front, from the top, and from the side. And we can uh, tell which one we're looking at up in the top in the viewport toolbar. I'm up in the upper left-hand quadrant. We can see that the T key is pressed down, which means that in the upper left, we're looking at a top view. And that's where I'll begin my navigation. If you drag with the left mouse button, you are panning the camera around. It's a great way to move the camera around and see each of the different areas of your level. If you drag with the right mouse button, you do the same thing. So either mouse button is interchangeable here. If you hold down the left and right mouse buttons together, you can zoom in or out of the viewport. So if you need to get an overall view of the entire level, just zoom out like so, and then you can zoom in on specific areas and start to move around. So take a moment and practice doing that so that you can get the hang of viewport navigation. Now, the other two orthographic views navigate in exactly the same way. Left mouse button or right mouse button to pan around, and then left and right together to zoom in or zoom out. So there's a quick look at navigating the orthographic views. Really, there's nothing to it. They're very simple, but very, very useful when you need precision. Now, that leaves the perspective viewport, which is three-dimensional, very much like actually taking a look into the game world itself. And to navigate this, let's start off with the left mouse button. If you click and drag inside the perspective view with the left mouse button, you're going to find that it's kind of like driving a car. Dragging up and down with your mouse or forward and back will move the camera forward and back. So there's forward and there's back. If you drag left and right with the left mouse button, it's going to be kind of like turning your head. So we're, you know, swiveling to the right, swiveling to the left. Now, if you drag with the right mouse button, you're just pivoting the camera around. It'd be as if, like, you're, you have a camera that's attached to the top of a tripod. As I drag to the left, I turn to the left. As I drag down, we rotate down. Really, it, it gives a feel a lot like the mouse look present in the game itself. It's the way of looking around that feels most like the actual in-game feel. That's right. And between the two of these, you can get almost anywhere on a single floor of the level. So just by using these, I can drag around and follow the walkways, or if you want to, of course, you can fly through walls or panels of glass. Now, if you hold down the left and right mouse buttons together, you are panning the camera along a two-dimensional plane, but it also allows you to go uh, vertically. That's the, the big key here. So I'm dragging up with the mouse, and I'm moving vertically up to the next story of the level. As I drag left and right, I'm sliding to the left and right. So it's kind of like strafing, but allowing you to strafe up and down as well as left and right, too. Exactly. So there are the primary uh, navigation modes for, uh, for the perspective view. Those are what you're going to be using the most. And it would do you well to sit back and practice them and get the use of them uh, down and memorize because you're going to use them a lot to fly around and have a look at different things. But there are some other kind of hidden navigation modes as well. For example, if you come into Unreal Ed from, uh, let's say, Maya, you'll be happy to know there is a navigation system which, well, which works a lot like navigating viewports inside of Maya. And you can access that just by holding down the U key or the L key. So what I'm going to do is start off just by, let's move us over into a slightly more well-lit area, like so. And I'm going to hold down the U key and drag with my left mouse button, and notice what we're doing. We are tumbling about 
a local pivot point. And you can't really see the pivot point, but as you rotate around, you can kind of start to feel it and get an idea of where it is. Right, it's as though the camera is keeping focus on one point in space and moving around that point. That's right, tumbling instead about of, it. Instead of in standard navigation mode where you're generally moving the camera itself. That's right. Now, if I was to hold down the U key and drag with the right mouse button, I am moving in toward that local point or moving away from it. And I move toward it by moving the mouse forward or up, depending on your perspective. And I move away from it by pulling the mouse back. Right. And the effect is that it gives the feel of having a zoom function in 3D. That's right. Now, if I'm holding down the U key, I also have access to the middle mouse button which allows me to pan, which is very much like holding the left and right, uh, right mouse buttons together when you're just using uh, standard navigation, except if I rotate up at kind of an angle, you'll notice I'm not just moving straight up and down anymore. I'm actually moving along a plane that's kind of angled at 45 degrees or so. Right, it's doing that kind of up-down, left-right locking, but still pointed at a different point instead of straight ahead. That's right. Now, that's the function of holding down the U key. You can also hold down the left, oh, I'm sorry, not the, not the left key, the L key, and that is very much like holding down the U key, except that it locks you onto a specific actor that you have selected. So I'm going to select this little navigation point here. I'm going to hold down the L key and drag with my left mouse button, and we are tumbling around. I'm actually going through walls, so it's a little hard to see what's going on. So what I'm going to do is hold down the right mouse button and drag us forward a little bit. But we get the exact same effect that we saw a second ago when holding down the U key, except we, you'll notice we snap right over to this selected actor. If I was to select this light and uh, hold down the left mouse button and the L key and drag, boom, we pop over to it, and we're tumbling about this actor. So aside from that, it works exactly like holding down the U key. Middle mouse allows me to pan along a two-dimensional plane, and the right mouse button allows me to zoom in and zoom out. So this is a great way to zoom in to a certain actor very, very quickly. We can just select like this light, which is way out in the distance, hold down L and right mouse drag, and we fly right to it. So uh, just a, a quick look at some secret navigational tips. But really, aside from that, that's everything you need to know about navigating a viewport. There's not much to it, but you will probably need to practice it if you've never done it before. That's going to wrap things up for this video. Thanks a lot.